Hello and greetings from Iceland. But today I had this update about the situation in Keldingandalir and by Mount Keller. But we finally got it confirmed that it was indeed a magma intrusion that was teasing us about a month ago. But uh, let's take a look at the new satellite data, but I'm linking to the source file. The color orange is where the land uplift has been detected. And I am not surprised to see what is going on around Mount Keller after all those earthquakes around there. So notice the mark that I'm adding to this map. This is where my drone is now flying toward Keldingadalir with a good view over Mount Keller. This is where it all started, but by the end of August, GPS showed the subsidence, which is normal after the eruption, but from mid-September, the subsidence began to turn into a land uplift, and the land uplift is still very little, only about 2 cm at its highest point, and the most likely explanation is magma accumulation at greater depth, according to scientists. And when it comes to the surroundings of Mount Keller and the Faradals Fjall mountain cluster in front of us, nothing surprises me. But the map does actually show magma accumulation in an extremely large area. And in fact, a new location in addition to the well-known region around Mount Keller. So once again, it's just more questions. Or are we talking about a new event on the rise? Is this land uplift by the south coast from the same source that was feeding the Keldingadalir eruption? Because I have not seen anything of this kind before. So once again, I'm a bit frustrated. Or why this event, which is a part of a chapter that occurs every 800 years here in Iceland, why it gets so few questions from the media? They should ask more. And we do see frequent changes in the earthquake patterns around there. But the pattern that you see now is that there isn't any. It is impossible to read anything from what we see, other than there is a lot of magma movements there, or pressure from the tectonic plates under the Reykjanes Peninsula. And I have the feeling, judging from the fact that I've been looking at the seismic activity on the peninsula, on almost a daily basis for at least 15 years, and what we see is out of the ordinary, even if ordinary is nothing ordinary here in Iceland, and there will always be earthquakes on a peninsula, but they are just different now, like they were for the whole year before the eruption, just like you can see through some of my older earthquake timelapse videos. We can see it though that there is no land uplift by Lake Klevervatn, where we have seen some seismic activity lately. So we were a bit worried if the Krisvik volcanic system was about to mess with us. But then, it is obvious that the land uplift by the south coast, it is stretching over two volcanic systems, as the volcanic systems are defined by our experts, and the south part of the land uplift is somewhere between the Krisvik volcanic system and the Fagradals fjall system calling into question if it's something that unites these systems in this place, or is it in fact just one system. But then, the land uplift is still too little to say, and I am in fact impressed that the technology can detect only 2 cm land uplift there. But once again, I am wondering about the plumbing under the Reykjanes Peninsula, and I just want to remind you that I recently uploaded a long video about a nearby earthquake town Kveragerði, and I'm linking to it. And just by this volcano town, we have the only volcanic system that is classified as a Reykjanes Peninsula system that has a central volcano. So you will have fun with that one, but I'm ending this today by the Keldingadalir volcano. And no lava flow has occurred there since September 18th. Gas can still be detected, but in very small quantities. So this is more and less over. But the land uplift and the seismic unrest does however tell us that we are only closing a chapter in a larger book that will span the next 200 years of the geological history of Iceland. 
And I believe that the year 2022 will be just as uh, exciting as this year, but different though. And uh, I will upload a new video soon about the earthquake swarm that is taking place in South Iceland because the volcano Hekla is being monitored uh, extremely well these days. She could so easily be triggered by the earthquake swarm that is going on just uh, 7 kilometers away. So there are always uh, plenty of subjects to pick from when it comes to the geology of Iceland. Always something moving. But uh, check out my Queragerði video. And uh, with that I'm sending you best regards from the Volcano Island, Iceland.